how was that as you dealt through it? And how do you think Dylan maybe did stepping in for you? Yeah, I, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's one of those things where if somebody gets it, it's like most sicknesses that are contractible. If someone gets something, then when they're around other people, sorry, then, uh, you know, it seems like a lot of people you're around are also going to get it. So a lot of those guys who have it or have had had it are, are doing really good. And as far as Dylan goes, uh, yeah, I'm super proud of him. You know, he works he works extremely hard every single day. And um, I, I called him right after the game. We went over the game. We talked about it, things he could have done better, things he did well. And I'm very proud of Dylan. Taylor, this is, I think you guys can win the division for you know two years in a row for the first time since the 60s and make three playoffs for the first time since the 90s. What, what's that kind of say about, you know, maybe what you and some other guys have kind of you know brought to the franchise over the last several several years. Here. You know, I think when the franchise first got here in the late '90s, those guys had an instilled culture um, of toughness, and they've you know those guys laid the foundation for us. Uh, guys like Eddie George, guys like Bruce Matthews, um, those guys kind of gave the heart of the Tennessee Titans. And I don't like there's been players that have come and go since then. A lot of players that have come and go, and just to be a part of something that started, I say it all the time, being a part of something that started 2 and 14, 3 and 13, and be able to, you know, stay on a team for this long and to be a part of, you know, a winning culture, a team that expects to win week in and week out, uh, I think it's really special. It says a lot about the players that are here. It says a lot about the past players that were here also that kind of built the culture up. With that expectation to win, is it knowing that there's a division title on, on the line this week with a win, has it been kind of business as usual, or guys? Yeah, I think problems? you got to, and uh, you just got to cancel out all the. At the end of the day, you got to play football, and um, you can't think, well, if this happens, and if this team does this, then we're this seed. It's, it's not worth thinking about. I'll leave that up for the for the, the Twitter warriors out there and all those people. They, you, know, you guys, this is your job to speculate and do all that. This is your job. My job is to go out here and play football. And uh, just try to win as many games as possible. Miami's defense, they. Uh, they oh, you. Yeah. Ladies I'll first, dude. Nice. Ladies <laughs> first. I'll be nice. Go ahead. My go God. Ahead. I was just going to say, with, with the fans and just how this fan base has continued to build, um, I mean, what have you seen out of them in the last couple of years? I know last year, yeah. no fans with COVID for the most part. Yeah. But, I mean, has this grown? And I know you have a, a love, weird relationship with them too. No, I love the fans. I do, even the ones that hate me. I love them all, you know what I'm saying? Because the haters wish they were doing what I was doing. So I think that, you know, when I first got here, you couldn't pay somebody to come to a Titans game. And um, and we're getting there. And, you know, to be a fan of something, you have to be proud of it. And I think we've done a good job of continuing to make fans proud of this franchise. I think Vrabel's done a great job. I think John's done a great job. And so, as we continue to do that, these younger kids, this, this younger generation who's growing up washing, wishing they were Kevin Byard, wishing they were Taylor Lewan or a Jeffrey Simmons or a Derrick Henry, it gives, um, they get to grow up and come to games. And I think we're not only gaining fans now, but for the future to come, sorry again, wow, I'm, on, I'm over that. For the future, like I really hope that Nissan Stadium is, is one of those, man, it sucks to play there type places. And, and we're getting there. In the same vein. Did you hear the Logan Ryan stuff? Yeah, I did. And you know, first let me say I'm. Oh, Robbie's tripping about this one. He's nervous. So let me. <laughs> uh, I have so much respect for Logan Ryan, and I, when I talk about the culture of this team and where this team was and where it's going and where it came from, Logan is one of those key players that helped change the culture of this team. And I think if we all look at. Um, look at everything with an unbiased opinion when logan first got here there wasn't a lot of people in the stands now because of logan and other guys there are now more people coming in these stands so the fans that are upset are the diehard fans who have been supportive and have been there since the the, the late 90s that have had season tickets for the whole time the times have been here they have every right to be upset but that comment's not directed at you you know as a younger franchise we have grown and grown and grown and grown and continuing to make this you know, great city of Nashville more proud of a football team. And so, although there are harsh words, it's still, we're, we're a growing franchise and the loyal fans and they know who they are, they shouldn't be mad about those comments because those comments aren't directed at them. You know what I'm saying? Guys, 
back in the day. It doesn't have as much anymore to see the stadium full of Chiefs fans or Steelers fans. Oh, you know, I think back in the day, well, you're talking about like 14, 15? Yeah. I think guys were more focused on what they were doing in the offseason at that time. You know, they weren't too focused on, on, on ball, and I think that's changed quite a bit around here. Now, that's, like I said, it's, that's a generalization. Not everybody was like that. But, um, you know, when you have a home game, you want the home game to be loud and obnoxious when your defense is on the field, and we're getting there, and it's loud, and you can see that some of these guys are jumping off sides, and the fans are getting loud, and uh, Matt, our new PA guy, he's done a great job of getting the fans hyped up.